exercise 2.2 question number 3 the base of an isosceles triangle is 4 by 3 cm the perimeter of the triangle is 4 2 by 15 cm what is the length of either of the remaining equal sides so here we are talking about an isosceles triangle what is an isosceles triangle a triangle whose any two sides are equal are, is called an isosceles triangle. Let us suppose in this triangle these two sides are equal. So this is an isosceles triangle. Both will have same length. Now they have asked what is the length of either of the remaining equal sides. So we have two equal sides. Let us call them S. So they were asked the length of it. What is the length of it? So we have assumed it is S. Let us read the first statement. The base of an isosceles triangle is 4 by 3 cm. We are talking about the base of the uh, triangle that is this. And not the sides which are equal in length. We are talking about only one side which is unequal in length. Okay. Whose length is unique. And it is 4 by 3 centimeter. And it is given that the perimeter of the triangle is 4 2 by 15 centimeter. What, how will you calculate perimeter of the triangle? The perimeter of the triangle will be equal to side 1 side 2 and side 3. Side 1 is of S length. Side 2 is of 4 by 3 length. And side 3 is of S length. And the perimeter is given as 4, 2 by 15 centimeter. So we have S plus S that is 2S plus 4 by 3. This is our linear equation in one variable. Let us see how to write it. Go uh, by using the last statement. What is the length of either of the remaining equal sides? So, let the length of the equal side of either of the equal side B S S centimeter so let me write it here S centimeter S I have used as a part of my convention because I am talking about sides so I am using the first letter of the word side and centimeter unit is taken from the base of the isosceles triangle which is given in centimeter as well as the perimeter which is also given in centimeter. So I assume that my result will as well be in centimeter. Done. Next. The first statement and the second as well. Now perimeter of isosceles triangle P will be equal to base length plus twice the length of equal sides or I would simply write side because when I talk about side I am always talking about the equal side right so perimeter will be equal to the base length and side plus side that is 
स्पाइस ऑफ साइट ओके लेट एस सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यूज नाउ पी इज फोर टू बाय फिफ्टीन इक्वल टू बेस इज फोर बाय थ्री प्लस ट्वाइस इन टू साइड साइड इज एस दिस इज आर लीनियर इक्वेशन इन वन वेरिएबल वेरिएबल इज एस एंड द कॉन्स्टेंट्स आर फोर टू बाय फिफ्टीन एंड फोर बाय थ्री एंड ऑल्सो टू दिस इज आर मिक्स फ्रैक्शन लेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू एन इम प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन फिफ्टीन फोर जा सिक्सटी सिक्सटी प्लस टू इज सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी टू बाय फिफ्टीन इक्वल टू फोर बाय थ्री प्लस टू इन टू एस और टू एस फोर बाय थ्री इज एन एडिशन हियर वेन इट गोज टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इट गेट्स सब्ट्रैक्टेड वाई एम आई मूविंग इट टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड बिकॉज माई वेरिएबल एस इज ऑलरेडी इन लेफ्ट इज ऑलरेडी ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड सो लेट इट बी ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड लेट एस मूव ऑल द कॉन्स्टेंट्स टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो सिक्सटी टू बाई फिफ्टीन माइनस फोर बाई थ्री Equal to two s. Let's take LCM of the denominators to solve this. It will be fifteen sixty two minus five fours are twenty. Equal to two s. Sixty two minus twenty will be forty two. Forty two by fifteen. Equal to two s. Any cancellations possible? Yes. Three into five is fifteen. Three ones are three. Three fours are twelve. So you get fourteen by five. Fourteen by five. Equal to two s. Now two is in multiplication here. When it goes to the left hand side, it gets divided. Let me do it here. Fourteen by five by two equal to s. Now when you have numerator in fraction. Denominator can also be written as in as uh, in fraction as instead of two you can write it as two by one. How you move it upwards into multiplication by reciprocating the denominator. So instead of two by one it will become one by two. So you get here fourteen by five into one by two equal to s. Any cancellations possible? Yes. Two ones are two. Two sevens are fourteen. Seven into one is seven. Five into one is five. Equal to s. So this is our solution. The length of the side is seven by five. Or you may also convert it into mixed fraction. You will get one two by five. Centimeter, right? So you can write it as. So you can write it as. Length of either of the equal sides is one two by five centimeter. Okay. You may also check your result by using the second statement here. You may substitute the value of the equal side in the formula that we found, or in general in this triangle. So this is one two by five. This is one two by five, and this is four by three. 
you may try to add all these three and see if you get 4 2 by 15 if you are getting it that means your answer is correct